Shadow Wizard Money Gang. We love casting spells. That's all the coffee before the video even starts. Come on. Hats. They keep the sun out of our eyes. They support our favorite teams, brands, and perhaps some we won randomly out of a claw machine or got at a work convention. Whatever the case, hats are some of the quintessential supreme accessories, some of the most beloved pieces that include box logos, various patterns, materials, and the like. And today, guys, we are talking about every single hat that is releasing from Supreme Fall Winter 2024. And then as a bonus, We'll even take a look at the bags because quite honestly, I don't think the bags deserve their own video. With all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Before we dive into the hats and bags, I want to remind you guys to please hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, all that great good stuff. We are super close to 3K subs. I believe 110 people need to subscribe. I think we can do it before week two drops, which will not be next week. It will likely be the following week, the first Thursday in September, aka September 5th, so look out for that. But anyway, let's get right into these hats. First things first, the fuzzy hat. This hat is fun, it's whimsical, it's silly. I don't know if it will sell out. I think there's definitely potential for one of these to reign supreme, no pun intended. I'm thinking either the brown or the pink off first glance. But if this is decently priced, maybe it will do pretty well. Kind of reminds me of some of the palace hats that they've been releasing recently. Next up, reflective jacquard camp cap. Can't go wrong with a nice reflective Supreme logo. I do like the camouflage pattern. I don't know how I feel though about the Supreme printed multiple times on it. Not a piece I would get, but I could see maybe this one selling out, potentially like the black one, but we'll just wait and see. To be honest guys, resale on Supreme hats hasn't been crazy recently. So if you want to actually make money, I would hold your finances till one that you know or have a pretty good conviction will do pretty well. Blocked denim camp cap. Now I do think this hat will actually sell out, especially in the brown colorway and perhaps the gold. Blue is decent. It is tonal. Sometimes yellow hats don't do as well, but I think the yellow and blue is pretty neat. And I do love this monogram pattern. Obviously got a little bit of Louis Vuitton vibes in here, but pretty neat. And this goes with some other jackets and I believe sweatpants or denim, which is dope. Arabic label camp cap. This released for Supreme week one. I don't know what's still in stock, but it is on the site right now. I'm sure in at least one colorway. So go check that out if you want the Arabic label camp cap. The lasered denim camp cap. This is actually really sick. I like this laser engraving pattern. It looks really cool. Looks like it has some kind of a 3D frayed aspect to it as well. Particularly this blue denim one, I think looks the best. Watch out though for pink. Pink can always kind of sneak up on us and end up doing the best. But I think all these look relatively well. Sans may be the white, but it does have a red box logo, so that's neat. All right, Cordura ripstop camp cap. This guy kind of looks like a little hexagonal pattern, like a snake skin almost. Nice tonal design, Cordura. Now the interesting one is this white one where you can't read the letters at all. I don't know if that's a mistake or what's going on there. Build your own box logo, I guess, from the ground up. Use that Sharpie you got from your Sharpie new era from spring, summer 24. The denim boucle, vocal camp cap. I can never say the name of this material. This one is looking like a Jackson Pollock painting, which is kind of crazy. I like it. I like all the color splotches to it. The material looks actually pretty good for a hat, navy and black. This hat checks all the boxes. Cool little five panel camp cap. All right, you already know what it is with the Frazetta camp. It's a matter of which, not if for me. I'm thinking this black box logo looks really sick. You got the fantasy characters from Frank Frazetta's artwork. I think both of these are very solid and I have high hopes for a lot of the stuff releasing from him this year. It definitely has some good vibes in terms of sellout times and hyped pieces, which is always cool. Corduroy camp cap, really can't go wrong with this at all. Nice little leather buckle back. Purple one is really catching my eye. I think if I had to pick one, it would be that. It is a little bit trickier to wear a hat with such a bold color, but I think it is pretty neat and very distinctive. Obviously you can go clean and go with the black. Red one would be dope if it had a different colored box logo, like a non-tonal, like black or maybe white, but I'm guessing judging by all the other colors, the red one will likely have a red box logo. Here we go with the Lockharan camp cap. I cannot be saying that correctly, but this one is really cool. I love this Scottish 
pattern right here with the tartan flannel very sick also this light pink and blue kind of a peachy color is very nice definitely an interesting hat i like the material being used the wool black one's kind of the odd one out i feel like if you were going for this one you might as well go for the fun pattern right moving right along with the windstopper ear flap camp cap this one exclusively focused on function i think these hats are atrocious. Palace does them all the time. It's just not really for me. I think if you're going to go with the windstopper actual protect your ears mode, you're better off with a heavier duty winter hat. What's the point of even keeping the brim? I guess if specific environments call for it, but it's a case by case basis. Windstopper hat. This is personal and definitely a functional choice. Denim camp cap. This actually matches a bunch of the regular jeans that came out from Supreme. We got the snakeskin pattern right here, which I believe those jeans ended up selling out from week one and also some other colorways. Very standard Supreme denim camp cap, but it's a classic for a reason. All right, the wash chino twill cap. Another one of these holographic looking leopard prints again on this hat. Very cool. I also like the denim one as well as this little burgundy purple very nice looking hat super clean and why screw up a good thing just keep it simple the mesh pocket camp cap I've seen these a few times in the past you got a nifty little pocket on the side of your hat very silly could be useful in certain cases but i think you're better off with just getting a normal hat unless you want to have fun with it and could actually see yourself using this mesh pocket design other than that i think most people will probably pass on this and i don't really see any resale capabilities or potential with this one the cordura pocket camp cap interesting so it's a front pocket on this supreme ml mil logistic operations not a huge fan of this just the logo is a little bit busy small text hard to read colors are okay pocket in the front i mean if you like it go for it but i'm not really stoked on this hat wool camp cap is next here we go nice wool material yet again here's another invisible box logo damn near on the white one i think the best one would be this guy right here i'm digging these denim prints and i love the look at that contrast stitching i think it makes the hat look a little bit more defined you can see its shape a little better but all the other ones are pretty decent as well made from loro pinana wool whoever that is shout out to laurel pinana here we go with the waxed ripstop camp this time coming in five different colorways. You got the Goldilocks, gold, black, white, navy, and pink, which is nice. I think this one looks best in pink, but also eh, black one. You can't really go wrong. Pretty standard a camp cap right here. The military camp cap also released for week one. We talked about this in my week one drop list video. I think it's kind of neat. You get a little pin on the side of it. Military camp caps, they release at least once a season, I feel like but it's definitely a solid choice. All of one looks dope. And you got that tan raindrop pattern again. Here we go with their racing hat. This time it's the Endurance Series 6 panel. Someone said they saw a hat in the preview that they knew I would like, and here it is for sure. I think the best colorways on this guy are definitely this American flag. Red, white, and blue with that gold is sick. Also, the pink looks very dope. Endurance racing. 24 hour races is some of the in most intense racing out there. 24 hours of Le Mans, hardest racing to watch because it's like, damn, this race is going on for how long? 24 hours? Yeah, good luck. I'll catch the fucking highlights, but very sick hat nonetheless. I love my racing hats. The piping is cool. Colorways look sick and I love some nice stitching as well. The needle punch denim six panel is up next. I've never really been a fan of this type of Supreme logo. Not hating on it for any particular reason. I don't really have a reason. I just don't think the font is that attractive. So this takes a little bit away from this hat, but I could see a lot of people digging it. It is simple and some cool colorways. And there you go. The felt arc six panel also released during Supreme week one. I said this was one of the hats of all time and I still feel like that is true. This is one of the supreme hats of all time. Liberty Six Panels up next. Here we got that Willow artwork yet again, this time on a hat. I dig this quite a bit. feel like this is fairly trendy with this kind of abstract art on the front. Supreme printed on the back so you know what the brand is. I think this would probably be more expensive because it is artwork by an artist. I probably wouldn't get this one, but I could see a lot of people digging it if they really even know what's happening in that picture. You tell me what is going on here. The enamel small box six panel. This is pretty cool. I think this enamel, it looks like a pin. I don't think it actually is. It probably is built into the hat, 
but I don't know how I feel about that material. It looks a little bit silky, reflective. Would have to see better pictures of this in person even to get my final opinion, but definitely an interesting little dad hat. What do you guys think of the enamel small box? The Alpha Omega pillbox hat. These are so interesting, like old timey looking delivery hats. I don't even know what pillbox hats come from. I'm sure there's a storied history that perhaps one of you in the comments knows about, but this is a very peculiar looking hat with the embroideries on it. I'd love to see what this looks like on someone's head. The shape is just wild. I do dig it though for being so out there and I feel like Supreme used to release a few pillbox hats in the past, but yeah, very distinctive and either love it or you hate it probably. I'm actually somewhere in the middle. Pigment S logo six panel. I ended up picking up the pink one before I could get my hands on the green one. That week one cue guys, we got through everything pretty quickly on the adding to cart. It was the checkout that ended up screwing us over. But say la vie, very cool hat. I believe all of these sold out or Almost all of them are gone. S logos, they're always gonna be a classic piece and I'm finally glad to have one added to the collection. Harris Tweed six panel. All right, interesting little patterns right here. Not really my style, not surprising, but I'm sure a lot of people will perhaps dig this. I don't know, what do you guys think about this one? Houndstooth is kind of interesting. I'd have to see this on someone's head in a picture yet again, but I feel like this would be a nice hat to maybe have for the winter time. Could be good for New York. That wool maybe will keep your head a little bit warm. So you don't need the ear flaps. You can just wear this wool hat. Tag on the outside is interesting. I wonder if that's something you could cut off, but that's a little bit bizarre. The different six panel, it's back. Last season, it was actually one of the resale sleepers. Ended up going for quite a lot over retail after they initially released. I'd like to go check in on them right now and see how they're doing. But these are a very nice follow-up to those hats. I think these will do very well given that camo patterns, especially ones that are kind of hyper-realistic like this one, kind of real tree mossy oak-esque, are doing pretty well. Four really dope colorways. I wonder which one will do the best. I'd see pink doing pretty well though. I'm just gonna say it. Also, olive and brown look good. Blue even. It's an interesting choice, but I like it. Corduroy S logo six panel is next. And look at this Harlequin design. Absolutely crazy with all these different colors and patterns on here. It basically takes every single other colorway and fuses it into one. That has to be my choice, even if it is a little bit unsightly in a way. It is just such a cool and unique design that really will make it hold the test of time as being something special that they probably won't release ever again. Maybe a similar concept, but not this exact one. That's my pick. Also green, solid, red looks really good as well. Mohair box logo is next. You got the mohair on a box logo hat. There you go, believe that. Supreme New York City, nice little embroidered patch on the side right there. It is a new era, so it likely is gonna be that fitted hat style which I said before, I'm not the biggest fan of. Bleached Chino six panel is next. Pretty standard little script logo. Like I said, this logo doesn't really tickle my fancy, but in terms of colorways, pink and blue actually look fairly good. Also this dark gray with the cream or white, that also looks pretty decent too. Bowler Tech small box six panel. Look at this one looking like a gosh dang child's diaper with that pattern. I don't know how I feel about that, man. This one I think is a pass for me personally but maybe you like it and that is cool. But there are so many hats, I can't like them all. The Stability Meshback 5 panel. I think this also released for week one. I very much doubt that any one of these colorways sold out. So if you want to grab it, I'm sure these are all on the website right now. I don't even have to look. The Tiger 5 panel. Jeez, that is a design. Holy cow. I mean, this is for the Tiger King. I mean, free the boy. He would be loving this hat. Wow. I really can't say anything about this hat. It is a tiger print hat. It looks like to be some sort of faux material, at least from the picture. Yeah, it looks like if you zoom in right there on the, the little bead or the, what do you call that part? The button on the top of the hat that holds all the panels together. It looks like there's some fur on top of that. So very interesting choice. Yeah, wow, the tiger five panel. Rhinestone five panel up next. Rhinestones having an absolute year. A ball. Like I said, some kid got loose in the warehouse and just started bedazzling multiple Supreme items. And before you knew it, they designed so many pieces that, well, you had to add the hat to the collection. Underlying mesh back five panel. It's the Supreme logo and it's underlined. I mean, there you go. Five colorways, camo included. Pretty generic, but in a way, kind of cool. I don't know. 
not for me, but maybe you dig the simplicity. The authorized Supreme dealer is up next. I dig this. You kind of see this with like authorized Honda dealer, authorized Ford dealers, authorized whatever dealers for mechanic stores, or I think any place that carries major labels will have sometimes these little badges from their companies that they are associated with. So interesting little take on that from Supreme. Pretty basic little trucker hat though. I think it's all right. Probably would say the black one looks the best out of all these designs, maybe the brown one, but I'm finding that for me personally, the brown Camacho hat, kind of hard to wear to match it with other stuff, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. Mr. Cartoon, a new era. Mr. Cartoon, he's at it again this time. He designed a new era. I'm kind of meh on this design. It's pretty neat with the 3D printed logo right there but just not something that really catches my eye or attention. If you like it, I think you should go for it, but just not for me. The Grinch, he's back on a box logo, new era. Man, if this was on a six panel, adjustable hat, five panel, anything other than a new era, I would dig this. I could see maybe the green or the red doing a little bit of resale for Christmas time, but with all those different sizes, I just could never recommend to anyone copying this for anything other than personal, but I do like that we see the Grinch on a Supreme hat. That is fun, and I hope he doesn't steal Christmas. That would suck. Screwball, S-Logo, New Era. Screwball, he was a pitch in baseball. Don't know how to throw it, but hey, they took a ball and literally put a screw through it and then put an S-Logo on it. So there you go. Pretty funny design. Jersey's box logo, another one of those week one designs. I thought this hat was super goofy, very silly. I don't know why people would wear a bunch of embroidered jerseys on a hat, but they decided to make it. So there you go. And then the Ushanka hat. Look at this guy, very Russian looking. This is what you go with if you wanna keep your head warm. Just fully commit to it, man. What's the point of having a brim? You don't need it. I'd rather wear this hat nine times out of 10 because anytime the weather calls for something, I'm sure you'd want this rather than some Gore-Tex windstopper, whatever the fuck with the box logo on top. Just full send it with the warm Yushenka. All right, the Gore-Tex ear flap cap. I'm guessing you guys are going to already know what I have to say, but I'm not a fan of this hat. I think it just looks a little bit silly, but I could see maybe someone wanting to use it. I don't know, man. I don't even think that's even true. I think this hat is just terrible. Needle punch denim crusher. I think I would rather prefer this one other than the other hat. I don't know though. It's an okay bucket hat. I've definitely seen better ones from Supreme. I think this one just kind of has boring colorways in my opinion. And like I said before, that script logo just doesn't really do much for me. Classic logo crusher on the other hand, I like this 3d leopard crazy color they're doing a lot of these they have the green gore-tex coat and they're also putting it with a red tint on this hat and that other one we looked at earlier so many hats so many hats here is another one military boonie released for week one i said it in my week one video but i think they're the six or the five panel is a bit better but this boonie is there for all the boonie enthusiasts. Stash your little things on the brim with the strap right there. I don't know what you do with that, but it's on every single boonie for some reason. The fuck money beanie. We saw it on a t-shirt. I believe we saw it on a different hat or a different sweater. It's on a few pieces. That's all I know. And it's also on a beanie in four different colorways. Space dye stripe beanie. Ooh, this could be one of those sleeper beanies. Remember that one beanie that came out last winter ended up selling at one point for $200 for a $40 beanie. Just saying, will this one be the next one? Which colorway will it be? We'll have to just wait and see. If you like it, be sure to cop it. Crest beanie, terrible logo, lazy design, very generic and non-exciting beanie. Next. Hearts beanie released for week one. I haven't done my what sold out from week one video, so we'll have to just wait and see if I was right on predicting these two ones right here to sell out, but I want to say maybe one of them did. Thinking back to my live stream, someone told me they went. We'll have to just wait and see if they're reselling though, but I think maybe a couple colorways could still be in stock. You'll have to check that out for yourself. The New Era Accent Beanie. I actually dig this giant Supreme logo, the little script design or something, a little accent, I should say. Various different colorways. Wow, almost too many, one might say. Reflective jacquard beanie. Okay, little reflective logo. Some utility in this for wearing it at night. You'll like to see it. Probably best colorway I'm gonna say is green. I don't know, it's a personal preference. MOP beanie, look at that. You get the MOP design yet again. I don't know what MOP is. Is it the mother of pearl? What are we talking about here? 
please someone let me know. I cannot be helped to Google it myself. New Era Script Beanie. Now in this case, I do like this. It also matches the track pants and track, or I guess it was sweatpants and a sweatshirt that released for week one. So if you want to complete the set and go full mono colorway, you could cop all three pairs of the same thing with the Supreme Script logo and be Mr. Script or something, triple script. The diamond beanie, why is it called a diamond beanie? Well, it looks like the pattern on the bottom of the hat, the kind of midsection of the beanie is a diamond print. So there you go. I actually quite like this a lot. I do like these almost hand stitched looking beanies. I think they look pretty good. I also really like the Supreme logo. I don't know why, New York City trademark, I think it looks really clean in this black colorway in particular. Classic logo beanie. I also like these chunky ribbed beanies. I think they're actually very warm and comfortable to wear on the old dome. Dig this one quite a lot. Pink, green, and black look pretty good. I think blue and black just don't look as good, but still, they're all pretty nice. The big stripe beanie, you've got a nice little ball on the top of it. Fun, fun, and some stripey Supreme logos. This one looks like a Snickers bar. I am hungry, actually, low key. The yarn applique beanie. Wow, now this is a beanie. Look at this. What is going on here? Talk about something different, boy. I can't really say whether I like this or hate this. I don't think I would get something like this, but I could see like this colorway or this brown colorway ended up actually doing pretty well. Depends on what people are thinking and if this ends up being one of those kind of randomly limited pieces. If, you know, you never know. Sometimes there's like, oh, there was 50 of them made or 100 of them made. I don't think they get that small anymore, but we've certainly seen some limited runs of some items. I wonder what this will cost at retail. I think that will definitely play a big role in whether this thing will sell out or do numbers. Brushed stripe beanie, here we go. It's the scripty logo stitched embroidered and then it's got this brushed stripe there you i mean it's in the name interesting little material looks like that kind of handcrafted look too not a, as big of a fan of this one i think the blue one with the white accents does look the best though new era box logo beanie we get these every year these tend to release with the box logo hoodies as well which i know i need to look at that i'm sorry guys i kind of forgot to look at the sweatshirts i'll do that next i swear we do have some time in between now and week two so we'll get we'll get everything covered from the preview don't you worry funk spell out beanie one of i think the most downvoted item from week one not really too sure why people hate it so much it doesn't have any additional supreme branding aside from the spell out that's in the pattern which it's kind of hard to tell but i like this beanie i don't know what else to say i wouldn't probably buy it but i don't hate it at all i think the colorways in particular look pretty good and I'm sure it's still in stock on the site. I don't know though. S logo, new era beanie. Keeping it simple, keeping it classic. You got some nice colorways, a nice S logo. Everyone knows it. We're all familiar with it. And sometimes that's all we want. Mohair beanie is next. I really dig this one. Very clean and simple. Nice material, four great colorways, purple and brown and gray all look very good. I think you'd want to get probably either the purple or maybe the gray one. I think those will do the best based off of uh, my best guess. Ooh, bandana, big logo beanie. This guy will also definitely sell out for sure. You got the bandana design, you got the you know who and the you know who colorway, and then you got the uh, neutral territory, we'll say right there. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's the bandana, big logo beanie. No bandana, but still big logo. Here you go. You want to keep it safe. You just go with this guy. You got a bunch of different colorways and no box logo or anything on that. I feel like they could have put a little box logo on it, but maybe people just wanted to keep it simple. So there you go. Supreme logo on the top. Loose gauge beanie. It's got a loose gauge on a beanie. And I think this also came out for week one, but there's so much stuff that comes out for week one. I can't remember it all guys. Sorry. Rainbow loose gauge beanie. This one. Ooh, could this one be the next sleeper beanie? I don't know. It looks kind of like a fiery rainbow right here. Kind of cool. I like the green background. It looks very trippy, honestly. And this one too looks pretty decent. All three of these look fairly nice. I do like those handmade looking beanies too. Professional beanie. That is too big of a logo. I think that just is not really a design that was made for a beanie. 
I'm not a fan of this. I like the logo. I just think it's a little bit jarring to look at on a beanie. Yeah, not a fan of this piece as it stands the way it was assembled. Good idea, maybe just a bad execution. Big logo balaclava. It's got it right on your forehead. I don't know why this is so funny, but yeah, I think this guy could have potential to maybe do something in certain colorways, but the Supreme right on your forehead, it's just, it's... It's reminding me of like just people getting, you know, written on when you fall asleep. Someone uh, wrote on your face a giant Supreme logo and it's very funny to me. The Polartex Sport Beanie. Interesting. Definitely more of a runner's beanie for those crazy people that run in the streets at night or in the early morning in the winter, even during the day. And you see him with one of these little beanies on and you're like, more power to you, dude. I am chilling inside, feeling warm. And I do not envy you, but if you're one of those insane people, get you a sport beanie for your sports in the wintertime. Polartec Balaclava. Here we go. Cover your face, cover your nose when you're skiing and keep warm in your Supreme Polartec Balaclava. That costed you $45 to $54. There you go. Maybe it's a little cheaper, but I'm guessing it's probably in that range. Heat Reactive Beanie. This is more for the cooler temperatures perhaps color loses vibrancy with heat that's actually kind of cool i dig it and there is the pattern with the three regular colors bada bing bada boom fuzzy balaclava beanie up next it's a very fuzzy hat the same colorways from the first hat we looked at and it's well not really even a hat it's a balaclava mask and it's one of those non-adjustable ones comes with the one size i'm sure you can kind of adjust and kind of put some slack into it. Again, with the Supreme logo on the top, it just looks like you got something written on your forehead. Don't know if I would grab this for the personal. And last but not least, we have Rhinestone Balaclava. We saw this on the lookbook. You got the fire camo returning from the North Face collaboration from Spring Summer 24. And yeah, it's a Rhinestone Balaclava. I kind of dig it. I feel like this guy will maybe do relatively well in a few colorways, probably the simple ones. I can't see a ton of people grabbing this to resell, but I do think this red fire camo being such a special and interesting colorway will actually sell out and do fairly well. All right, let's get into the sweatshirts now. First up on the list, of course, the box logo hooded sweatshirt, probably the most iconic Supreme design out there. 2024 right there on the hood. This one is that unique special edition colorway with the red torso brown arms and the navy hood green back such a curious little box logo i don't know how i feel about it i think the best colorway to go for this season is going to be this green perhaps pink what do you guys think about the multi patterned design i might just have to wait see if it grows on me that will be that limited edition one that will only come out this year most likely so that does make it special, but I don't know if I really dig it as something I would wear often. All right, the Frank Frazetta Zip Up Hooded Sweatshirt is next. Another great design from this collection. We got two characters on the sleeve right there, looking absolutely sick. We have the guy with the ax on the front, just destroying some bodies in front of him. This piece goes absolutely hard and look at that. This is actually, I believe, some special artwork that is not present on any other of the pieces with the Frazetta signature as well as the gator something creature of the dead coming out from the pool of blood or whatever's going on there and another little warrior right here very cool piece oh also available in blue that blue doesn't look half bad but i think the black looks the best for sure pilled up hooded sweatshirt is next little zippable hooded sweatshirt with some very pilled up wool i guess or pilled brushback fleece i suppose multiple different colorways the leopard one is special purple one is sick a decent little piece arc thermal zip up hooded sweatshirt these could actually do something in terms of resale it depends on the retail price and look at these colorways i think pink could do pretty well perhaps the desert camo it's tough though i want to just say that desert camo isn't the best camo like in terms of stuff that resells i just feel like that's the case i think red could also do all right on this piece as well cotton waffle thermal on the inside so a pretty nice piece for the winter i always love the supreme arc logo you really can't go wrong with this classic wild embroidered hooded sweatshirt now what is so wild about this weirdo dave another piece of artwork by weirdo mr dave here we go my god good and evil lots of just phrases on the back it's an okay piece if you like the artwork right there. 
decent little colorways. I feel like this will be like a 170 high 160s due to the collaboration with the artists. So it's a pass for me. What do you think? Printed R Coated Sweatshirt. This one is decent. I usually don't mind the old English font, but this one is a little bit on that unreadable side and it is a screen print. I think this one is just okay. It's certainly not bad. It has some all right colorways, which are good. I actually do like the black with the red Supreme letters. That would probably be my pick for this one. Next up, the special zip up hooded sweatshirt. This is that one that's just kind of stupid, but I don't think it's bad necessarily. Kind of a meme shirt by Supreme, just printing Supreme special multiple times. It is an embroidered logo, and I believe this does match a pair of pants that I looked at a couple of days ago. Same four colorways. It's a silly piece. I wouldn't get it, but maybe you like it. The Division hooded sweatshirt. This also, I believe, goes with a pair of track pants or something. 24 Division 1 champs. This is actually pretty nice, and yeah, I absolutely remember these colorways. Brown one, off-white, and black. I think the black one's pretty cool. The Supreme lowercase logo. I actually like it quite a bit. The State zip-up hooded sweatshirt. Is this the NCAA designs right here? Let's see. Nope. We got Supreme State. Looks like Florida colors. Ooh, we got a nice pink one and a black one. Very interesting. Now, what happened to that NCAA jacket that we saw during the preview? I feel like I haven't looked at it yet. The Florida Gators? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe it's a special piece that we don't see in the preview. I don't know. Mr. Cartoon zip-up hooded sweatshirt. I mean, they let this guy absolutely run wild. I thought the bedazzling was out of control. It was Mr. Cartoon all along. All these different colorways. Not a huge fan of this logo, but it looks decent. Like, just not really something that would make me want to buy it. If you like it, go for it. I think the best colorway is maybe this burgundy, olive, or orange. I'm liking those three different ones right there. All right, the collegiate acronym hooded sweatshirt. Strength, unity, power, respect, excellence, mercy, everlasting. That's interesting. We usually see this collegiate design usually in the fall winter season. And this time they're adding a little bit of a acronym. I wish they put that maybe underneath it or below it. I don't know if right through it is the best spot. I guess it kind of looks okay. It does also break up the logo, which that's what it's meant to do. You either love it or you're not a fan of it. I'm probably more towards the not a fan of it. Micro logo hooded sweatshirt. Another one of these troll designs that I think is just stupid. I mean, I get it. Like you're just buying a very small Supreme logo. But unless the price is way less because it's so small, I think you're wasting your money on these tiny little guys. You might as well just get a completely blank one, an even more basic one. And they usually do come out with at least one or two, like pretty basic. Like I could get a small box over this. I ain't getting no micro embroidered supreme, whatever the hell this is. Yeah, it's a pass for me. Speaking of it right here, small box hooded sweatshirt. You got the Blue Tiger 75 headshot edition. Obviously, the best colorway, but plenty of other small boxes to go around. We love to see it. Liberty hooded sweatshirt. I believe this artwork by Willow has featured on a hat as well as, ooh, was it another jacket? Something else. Many different pieces. We're seeing tons of these varied, you know, pieces with the same exact artist featured on multiple different items in multiple different categories. Two black colorways is funny though. This one's more of a light one, and this is a pure dark one. I think this one, you can see the artwork so much better. It's not even funny, so I would get that one. MOP is back. Heavyweight cross grain brush back fleece. I'm not even going to say it. MOP. Here it is. MOP. Warriors. Yap that fool. It is a rap group that I'm not familiar with. Hell yeah, brother. You'll love to see it. I definitely won't be copping this because I have no idea who these dudes are. Champion studded hooded sweatshirt. This item released for Supreme Week 1, and I believe most of them sold out. It was kind of a sleeper on the Supreme community website, but in my opinion, it was a great piece to go for. It's just kind of a no-brainer with the spell outs, the New York, the football helmet. Football season's coming up some cool colorways and it wasn't too expensive it was like 188 oh baby here we go this one i might actually cop the kate moss hooded sweatshirt more than the fleece even though the fleece is a better and cooler piece this one could actually be wearable by your boy out here in the west in zona probably would go for ooh, i don't know either the gray or the burgundy just because i have so many black sweatshirts i just picked up a light olive sweatshirt from palace and I just don't wear navy as much, so I'm 
I'm stuck between these two. Honestly, this one looks pretty good with the pink. I might have to get the gray one. I don't have any gray sweat shirts. I have the Supreme, I guess crew neck is a sweatshirt, but not a hoodie. But very cool design. We'd love to see Kate Moss and Supreme return. And the little kiss on the photo is, oh, it's you know, to die for. Love cash hooded sweatshirt. Not really for me. Nevertheless, a cute design. I like the Supreme. I can kind of appreciate the hearts. I think these are money, cut up money. I don't really know. I can't. Sometimes you just really can't tell from these pictures. And I'm looking at these off rip, no script. So I'm going to get this video like 85% right. And I feel like that's good enough. Anarchy hooded sweatshirt. Anarchy. There you go. You got a Roman coin. I think this is. 1994. I think that's what inspiration is. I'm not quite sure. It could be a US coin, but something about this does not look US to me. ROR for sale. Anarchy for sale, 1994. That's a pretty cool design. I dig it. What other colorways do we got? Oh, wow. Multiple different screen prints. I like when they do that on the different colorways of a piece. It makes a difference and actually can give you some really interesting combinations. AOI stacked hooded sweatshirt is up next. We got brush back fleece, supreme, supreme, supreme. Eh, not really impressed AOI. Honestly, we've seen a lot better from them. And uh, yeah, that's up. That's upsetting. You know, it's not a bad piece, but it's not a great piece. I think it's pretty lazy in my opinion. So it's just an embroidered triple logo and that's all you get. Unfortunate to see that from AOI. I guess you can't always be dropping bangers. That's a... Uh, I guess how it is. S logo zip up hooded sweatshirt. Very simple design. It's a classic beloved Supreme logo. It's an S. It's a zip up hoodie. You got five or six colorways right here. Bada bing, bada boom. We love it. On God hooded sweatshirt with the regular Supreme logo right there. I actually like the Supreme logo quite a bit. I think it looks great as a front design. And you got the On God Supreme New York. I actually like this a lot. I think out of all the multi text shirts they've released this season, this one is going to be the best, or they've previewed the season. I like this one the most. It just looks the most readable, clean. I like the shapes, the color blocking. It looks pretty good too. And you got five different colorways out of all these. I don't know. You could go the vault to match with your Air Darwins. I don't fucking know. ASAP Ferg put in work, zip up hooded sweatshirt right here. Brushback fleece. What makes it a work zip up hoodie? I don't really know. It looks like a heavier brushback fleece, perhaps. You do have the covering on the zipper, so I like to see that. I think the Arctic camo is the most unique. I don't really know. It's a very simple, basic hooded sweatshirt that I would absolutely cop over that stupid micro logo. That is the worst piece I've looked at so far today. Embroidered script hooded sweatshirt. Really not much to say about this one. You guys have seen it a million times on the sweatpants, the sweatshirt, and the hat, for God's sake. Yeah, look at this thing. It's the same thing, but script on a hoodie. Collegiate sleeve hooded sweatshirt. Bada bing. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Two screen prints on the sleeves. Oh my. And on the back? Holy crap. I'm just kidding. Pretty basic piece, but it's a pretty cool one nonetheless. They just said, hey, we got this new Supreme screen printing. Where should we put it? They're like, eh, both the sleeves and the back. What about the front, sir? Leave it blank. Just leave it blank. And that was the end of that meeting. There you go. The satin applique hooded sweatshirt. Ooh, big old Supreme logo on the back right there. Big ad logo, boy. Multiple different colorways. You love to see a Supreme logo with no box. It's like uh, a Yankee cap, no brim. Huh? Come on now. And that's about it. Look at that. Holy crap. Small box hooded sweatshirt came out for week one. I want to say there was some small box stuff that came out week one. Huge drop. I will be doing the what sold out from week one video next. So stay tuned for that video, guys. If you want to stay up to date on resale value to kind of review what sold out, etc. We'll cover that next. Collegiate have zip pullover. I actually like this design quite a bit i think this is extremely clean it looks a little bit more professional a little bit more refined classy and i think i would either go with my alumni colors i wish this was more of a maroon or kind of like a, a deeper crimson one might say for the indiana hoosiers cream and crimson but red and white is pretty neat black and gold buck purdue and then you got some like I don't know, North Carolina or some shit. Whatever you got. You got multiple different. And this one, honestly, though, looks the cleanest. The gray and the dark navy. Honestly, I like that a lot. 
Gore-Tex zip-up hooded sweatshirt. More Gore-Tex stuff to waste your money on. It is probably pretty good, but I think this stuff is just a little bit overpriced for what it is. In my opinion, water resistance plus breathability is kind of like a fool's errand. You might as well commit to one or the other, but I guess somewhere in between can't be too bad, but just for a basic Supreme logo on the front, I'm not gonna spend $348 or whatever this thing's gonna cost. Polartec face mask, half zip hooded sweatshirt. I think this one has definite potential to resell. I think this piece is really cool with the built-in balaclava in all the different colorways. Snow Leopard, absolutely the coolest one. Fucking moth, get out of here, dude. Anyway, man, this is a very cool piece. I like the small Supreme box logo right in the chest. And I think the price should be pretty affordable, hopefully. We'll have to wait and see though. But if I had to guess, this would be the coveted one. Small box crew neck. You didn't like any of the small box stuff before. You hate having a hood. You're just conscious about your shoulders. Here not. Here you got, I want to say seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bada bing. We counted that. Just predicted. Ooh, off rip. Small box crew neck. Let's see what the very last sweatshirt is. Oh God. Crest crew neck. Worst design from Supreme this season. So lazy. So boring. Don't buy it. A lot of people are saying it's the worst piece. A lot of very smart people are saying this piece sucks. You don't want anything to do with it. It's terrible. It's a crisis. It may be the worst sweatshirt in the history of sweatshirts. And let's just rifle through all of these bags. I mean, we saw most of these release for week one. And to be honest, everything besides the leather stuff, I think is kind of underwhelming. Let's just get into it. First thing, we got the backpack. This release, I just don't love the mesh. I don't love the colorways. And I don't love the shape of the backpack. And that's kind of the theme with a lot of these bags. Same thing with the duffel. I think the black is okay, but it just looks too... I don't know what I'm looking for. It doesn't look like a, a, a true duffel bag like Supreme used to release with the big logos on the side. They've kind of transitioned to these small box logo hits and just generic color blocking. And it's just not something that I'm really a fan of. I don't know if it's these Cordura designs or what, but even the messenger bag, it's just not really what I'm looking for, guys. The same four colorways on every single bag. Why can't they do a bunch of different colored bags? Why can't they do something different? and just change it up. It seems like they just make these collections with these four colorways and they're like, that's all we're gonna do. We'll do some extra premium ones with the leather, but we're gonna release a bunch of the same crap with the same Cordura company making all of them. And it's just unfortunate. Maybe you like this stuff. I think a lot of these bags are still on the site. They're kind of expensive for what they are. Here's a different one though, the Polar Tech Sling Bag. I think this one's a little bit better, but yeah, here we go. This one at least gives you some different color choices. You get a fun pattern. It's made of fleece too, so it's useful for the winter. That's at least something different. I can give that some thumbs up because it's at least a switch up from just everything being the same. Canvas backpack, one of those generic Supreme accessories. I don't hate this though because it's very basic. It probably is on the cheaper side. And I think this is more of what I'm looking for in terms of a backpack. But gosh dang it, if this isn't the most generic version of that, the lowest common denominator of what we're looking for. But in my opinion, it's better than the backpack from Cordura. And then we got the canvas tote, last but not least. Again, very simple tote bag, but I like it. It's black and it's white. It's extremely simple, but I think it looks better than the Cordura crap. I really do. Now we'll look at the leather stuff. And this stuff does look a lot better. I just like the more traditional shape of the backpack. You don't need a bunch of mesh on the front. I think the Supreme logo looks good. You got some side pockets for your drinks. Straps look good. You got the front strap right there to kind of balance the weight of the two straps and to keep it attached to your body. The colorways are very clean. Given that it is a leather bag, they don't want a bunch of different patterns on there. I think probably the green stuff looks the best or the black. You can't really go wrong with that. Duffel bags though, this is what I'm looking for in terms of a duffel bag shape. The only thing I have to say is it's the same three colorways, right? Why can't we get different colorways? Why do they all have to match? Why does it have to be like that nowadays? Has it always been like that? I don't really remember. I mean, I've only really been doing these dropless videos in this full force since 2022, but I feel like we used to get a little bit more variety, right? 
we get like a couple more patterns, a couple more unique touches. So the leather stuff is definitely the best. I like the leather shoulder bag. It looks dope. The waist bag is sick, the fanny pack, but it's all the same colorways. Why can't we get something different? I don't really know. I know that video ended kind of pessimistically, but I have to give my honest opinion on the bags. I haven't really been digging them, but thank God we have some pretty decent hats to look forward to, at least. Scrolling back through the list, we got some great hats to look forward to. I think this lasered denim camp is pretty awesome. Same with the Frazetta camp. This Lock Caron looking thing is crazy. Corduroy, some really great materials. Of course, the racing hat, a couple other ones that have released for week one or sick, like the S logos, the different six panel, very nice with the camo, multiple colorways, Tiger one, probably the most shocking hat that I saw. I was really like lost for words when I first saw it, but what do you guys think out of all these hats and bags was your favorite piece? that you are looking forward to copying this season. What do you think will resell for the most? I'm thinking it's gonna be something we're not even expecting. It's gonna be a sleeper, something like that beanie that ended up going for 200 bucks, or it could be something we all saw coming, like maybe it's the racing hat, or maybe it's the difference again, who knows? Perhaps it's the pill box, right? Time can only tell. Anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed the video today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Been your boy Thomas, and I'm out. Peace and buckies.